Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Taurus. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, bulls. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful Patreon family and the Evolving Spirits and the beautiful OnlyFans page. Thank each and every one of you all so much for your continuous love and support. Your love never goes on notice on this platform. Thank you so much, Soul Tribe. I appreciate you. And welcome back, Bulls. Welcome to the ones that are new here. Thank you all so much for your continuous comments and feedback. I love you. I see you. And I appreciate you all. Thank you. It truly means a lot. And I'm glad you all are enjoying the messages here and the readings and most of all the content here. All right. Definitely, if you're new here, like, like. All right. Show some love. Hit that like button, loves, as you all come in towards and subscribe. All right. We would love to have you here, Bulls, a part of our soul family as well. All right, so no further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive into your love messages here today. Today's focus is going to be on the person that is on your mind, okay? So we're going to get an oracle message here for the truth. We're going to see what's the truth, what's been hidden here from this person, how they feel towards you, bulls. And then we're going to dive into some tarot and see about the person here that is on your mind, okay? And of course, we're going to close out with my raw tarot index cards here to get more insight regarding you all's reading today. And definitely come on over to the OnlyFans page if you're new here that is where I do post energy check-ins for all the zodiac signs that I post here on YouTube. So that way you are the first to get in an energy check-in to see what's the reading going to be about, what's the feel of the reading, and what's all going to take place before I actually post it here on YouTube. All right, so definitely if that's something that you're interested in, it's only $5.55 a month and you get over 30 days worth of daily content for energy check-ins for the zodiac signs. All right, so thank you again, family. Family, let's go ahead and dive in. Wow, we have I hid who I really am from you, Taurus. Wow, that's something to sink in there. Okay, so I feel like some of you all may call this person out on a behavior pattern or something that they may have done or said to you that, of course, you didn't agree with. Or, of course, this hat may cause a relationship here even to be off balance between you two, all right? And I feel like because of this, rather than this person being honest to you or, you know, just being up front with whatever hat may took place here, this would have helped a lot as far as avoiding situations or circumstances with the connection here. So someone is wanting to come towards you and tell you the truth of why they may were acting out the way they were acting out, why they may have did or said what they said here is because they were hiding from who they truly are, okay? Some of y'all, this person may didn't want you to find out who they truly are or just some things that may have happened to in their past, okay? They may was concerned of how you were going to accept this person or how you were going to feel about these situations here. But someone is definitely wanting to come towards you here, bulls, and tell you that they were hiding from the truth or hiding from them own selves, okay? So, wow, let's dive into some tarot here and see how this all is tied in together, okay? Let's see about the person here that is on your mind. Wow, we have the chariot card here, Taurus, okay? Some of you are this person here may be a cancer with the chariot card here, okay? But this card here indicates moving on, right? Finding themselves no longer resonating with people that they may have been in relationships with or maybe work with or just some typical things that this person may find themselves doing on a daily routine. This could be a certain group or crowd of energy that they used to hang around with where they find themselves no longer resonating with these people or doing these typical type of uh, routines of things that they no longer find interest here in. All right. So someone is definitely ready to move forward. They could even think about traveling or moving where you're at or moving towards you here as well. Okay, so wow, let's see what else here is going on regarding the person on your mind. 
Wow, we have the Eight of Swords here. So this person feels guilty. They really feel guilty for this here, for hiding themselves for who they truly are here. All right. Some of y'all, this person may be an air sign here, Taurus. All right. They could be a Aquarius here, a Gemini or a Libra here as well with the Eight of Swords. But the Eight of Swords talks about regrets, having guilt because of places or situations or circumstances that they allow to happen instead of stepping in right away and addressing the situation or even adjusting their behavior or whatever it was that caused the relationship here overall towards to be off balance with you two here all right and this is why i feel like this person is is ready to move on um, they no longer want to be in this type of perspective of energy here because they now don't even like how it looks on them as a person anymore here. Okay, wow. So let's see how this all plays out in the future. We got the Ten of Pentacles here. Now, this is your element or earth energy here. Some of y'all, this person could be an earth sign like yourself. This could be a Capricorn here, Taurus, or this could be a Virgo here for others of you all, or Taurus like yourself. But this card indicates family. This card also indicates what well, someone is wanting to build or establish when it comes to generational wealth, okay? So someone here definitely wants to make their amends with you, I feel, Taurus. So that way, this type of lifestyle or relationship here can actually bond together or actually work together here all right so someone now knows that they have to move forward from people places and situations that they now know no longer resonate with them and because it may have took and put a burden on this relationship between you two here, okay? Wow, Taurus. Again, definitely if the message here is resonating for you, show some love, bulls. Hit that like button. That'd be very much appreciated, all right? And again, subscribe if you're new here. And I am also available for personal readings, Taurus. Yes, if you would love to book a personal reading, my email details is down below in the description box, okay? So before we close out again, let's go ahead and pull out the Raw Tarot Index cards. Let's see what this person is wanting to come in and say all right clarify guardian angels please whoa those cards jumped out quickly okay wow we have here i'm ghosting everybody for you yeah that's the energy that i mentioned when this person wanted to move on here okay we got i will wait outside all day yeah, someone is definitely coming your way and it looks like they're going to be sitting on your doorstep here. Or they're going to sit outside and wait all day if they need to here because someone has decided to move on. They even may have moved from the city or maybe even the state that they're in. Someone doesn't no longer want to be around the type of environment or hang around the same people that they used to hang around, okay? They see things totally different now because of this situation here, I feel. All right, wow, let's see what else. What else this person here wants to say, Gordon Angels, Ancestors? Wow, we got, it's not worth the pain, all right? I'm getting my life together. Yeah, I mentioned that here because this person doesn't like the way things have turned out. They don't like how this reflection here has been brought on them and they are the ones now having to deal with the consequences here. And they're like, you know what? This is not even worth it anymore. This is not worth my time. This is not worth the pain that I put not only myself in, but Taurus, Right. So someone is definitely coming in to make amends here and wanting you to know that they hit by they hit from themselves when they should have just been honest with you in the first place here. OK. Yeah. Look at that. I'm sorry, I love you, and I am happy for you. So at the end of the day, regardless how this person um, may have felt, they've always loved you, okay? I feel like their love would never be lost with, between you two. Rather, if you two decide to separate and go your separate ways, this person will always have love for you, and they definitely are going to want to come in and make peace and at least apologize, even if you two decide to get back together or not. They want to come in and make peace and apologize for their behavior because they love you and anyone that loves a person and cares about a person 
right? If they want to be back together, they know they feel like that they owe you at least an apology here for their behavior, all right? Wow, bulls. I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here, but again, definitely if the message here has gave you some insight, even confirmation for some of y'all for what you were intuitively picking up about this person or overall this situation, again, definitely don't forget to like, like, show some love towards that. It'd be very much appreciated and subscribe. We would love to have you here, part of our soul family, and be sure to adjust your notification bells for when we go live, okay? I do go live throughout the week for all Zodiac sign readings. If you would love to stop by and get a check in there before you get your day started, all right? Thank you so much, Bulls, and I look forward to you all's next reading. Thank you so, family. Bye-bye.